It's one of the smallest elementary schools in the district, but just in time for the school year, Gilmore Lane Elementary now has a brand new playground. The school in the Camp Taylor area de dedicating the facility today, but as WHAS 11's Rob Harris reports, this playground is more than just a place for fun. It's also a tribute to two of Gilmore Lane's finest. Rob? Yeah, that's exactly right. So these are brothers Avery and Airden Hooper. They lost their lives last year when their mother killed them and took her own life. That loss shocked the small, tight-knit community of Gilmore Lane Elementary, but over the past few months, the teachers, parents, and students have embarked on a special project to help with the healing process. It's an overcast and muggy day outside Gilmore Lane Elementary School. But that's not going to stop Alexandria Emery from seeing the new playground with her daughter Lillian. Lillian's a second grader here at Gilmore Lane, the same school Alexandria attended years ago. Only, things looked a lot different back then. It amazes me. I mean, it really does. Um, I dreamed of something like this. I told all the kids that the minute that they cut that down, I was going to be the first one playing on it. All I had was a seesaw and a hopscotch mat. <laughs> this playground has been a long time coming, but it's now ready for play at a time that the students at Gilmore Lane need it the most. Both Aiden and Aaron and Hooper were very special children at our school. This playground is dedicated to their memory forever. In a simple ribbon cutting today, teachers, parents, and classmates remembered the Hooper boys and the mark they made on the school. Alexandria and Lillian knew the Hoopers. They lived just down the street from them. And they still have a lot of sadness and confusion to process. But watching this playground finally materialize before their eyes and dedicating it to the friends they lost helps just a little bit. And knowing how much Avery and Airden would have loved it makes it all the more special. This new playground was made possible by the donations from the community, but it was also helped along by fundraising by the students at Gilmore Lane. Lillian, whom you met in that story, even held a lemonade stand to raise money for different parts of it. And it's designed to grow. So over the next few years, they hope they can continue to expand the playground in Avery and Airden's memory. In the studio, Rob Harris, WHAS 11.